Um, it's actually a pretty nice little unit. I've used it a lot. Uh, it's not something you want to use if you're running pipe all day long. It'll overheat really easy. But for the price and for what you get, it's pretty good. I'm going to do some three-quarter inch. Um, comes with this great vise. Uh, it, it's actually really good. I have it clamped in my bench vise, and it'll spin right in the bench vise. Um, just a tip for lining it up if you don't feel like reading directions. You just flush up the end right here. And get it on good. Just so you all can see, it's the central machinery. Uh, I'm going to be using the three-quarter die. Now, you can see this has still got a lot of uh, chips in it from the previous one. I left that in there so you can see um, you don't want to leave these in here. That's going to bungle your threads. Uh, get your air gun. And uh, make sure it gets cleaned out. See any chips in there? Keep a screwdriver handy and uh, keep all that stuff cleaned out that'll do a number on your die. Now as you can see down here on the floor I have a uh, one of the magnetic bases a trap gets uh, catches all the cutting oil and also makes it great for uh, reusing it because it'll catch all the chips. Um, I would not recommend the Harbor Freight cutting oil. Go ahead and uh, pick up a really nice uh, thread cutting oil and uh, it'll do a really good job for you. Be liberal with it. Um, this is like I said, this is just for running a few things here and there, cutting some pipe. Um, it usually starts pretty easy. Um, you just have to keep it pretty snug and I'll show you how it works. So there you go. As you can see, it does a pretty good job. It's not super fast. Um, it makes pretty good threads. Get these a little closer for you so you can see. Um, now this is straight out of the uh, focus here. The dies do a pretty good job. Uh, I do a lot of gas fitting work and uh, I only use a little bit of black. I don't use a whole lot. Uh, just usually a couple connections here and there, but it's good to have a couple of uh, extra pieces laying around and it's definitely worth the 20 seconds it takes to uh, make up a couple pieces so I'll buy a whole stick and then just uh, make up a couple uh, the threads come out really clean and I would honestly say for the money when you're just making a couple of pieces here and there it's uh, really helpful to have as a tool um, just as a reference so everyone can see for the uh, what the uh, unit number is and everything it's item 22 uh, 62203 um, so they might be good they might be bad if it's not the same item number um, these come out really easy and you, can, you can't feel it. this is pretty hot um, I've done an entire 10 foot length of pipe and uh, there you go. so these are the dies uh, not necessarily the prettiest fit and finish in the world but um, they're pretty solid and they seem to work really well uh, so if anyone's interested and you're going to be running cutting some occasional pipe this is a really great starter kit uh, to get going it'll do a uh, half inch all the way up to inch and a quarter and i have uh it saved my butt on some inch and a quarter um, where we had to adapt for a uh, 
new natural gas meter and it the pipe needed to be cut down so rather than having to redo the pipe for the entire length we were able to just uh take the pipe cut it down re-thread it right on the spot and then um just clean it out really good and attach the new meter it saved uh oh good hours of time um so as far as i'm concerned this unit has paid for itself uh so there you go this is the harbor freight threader and uh enjoy